Warning, some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. First to 100 stop for jurisdiction. It's going to be 100. Could I also get a political unit for jurisdiction? I am back in service at this time. My love toast and a grab the record. Correction that car. 10 4, can you head over to 100 stop? For jurisdiction. John Paul, what's the location? It's going to be 3010. Copy, that was 3010. 10 10 4, what's your direction of travel? We are facing southbound on northbound lanes of Proprio Drive. Got you on scene at Howdy. Let's see what all of this driving on the left side of the road is about. Yeah. Okay, Sheriff's Officer, we might get you stopped because you were driving on the wrong side of the road. Wrong side of the road? I think you're mistaken, Deputy. I was driving on the right side of the road. So, are you aware of what country you're in? <laughs> yeah, we're in... Boy. Yeah, we're in the U.S. Yeah, 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 the U.S. Yeah. Okay, the United States of America. Yeah. You are aware that this state goes on the right side of the road. This is you like one of my, oh my like, I like these calls, same time, I'm not big fan of them. No, I have not. Because I'm just a jurisdiction unit, oh, there's another oh, unit oh, here too with him, and they're both up against the jail calls, so we're driving? just gonna sit back. Oh, is that what I'm listen. forgetting? If you, were, if you were supposed to wear, glass, wear glasses while driving so you can actually see where you're going, then that's more than likely going to be the issue. Well then, can you help me find my glasses? So I can be on my way. Did you, do you remember that you bring them, bring them with you? Of course I always have them with me, I just don't know where they are. Okay. Well, before, before I... Try to... Well, look at that. Look the at glasses that. on your shirt, right there. Oh! <laughs> my bad! I'll put those on after! Okay, could I just get your driver's license, certification, proof of insurance, please? There we go! 
Okay, thank you. Can you clarify the name on this? Yeah, it's J it's Jake. Jake. Yeah. Wait, can I see that again? Jake. And what's your last name? Yeah, I'll tell you. I just need to see my license again so I can remember. Go. That's your last name? There we go. Uh, let me see here. Let me squint really hard here. Oh, it's Simon. Yeah, there it is. I can see you just barely. Okay. Alright. Can you just go and sit tight for me? Alright, deputy. Oh, this is gonna be great fun. So, what's going on? Well, obviously, he's driving on the wrong side of the road. Um, pull him over, right here. He obviously, you know, he knows he's in the United States of America, but he's driving on the left side. Um, he didn't have his glasses on, so it was all fuzzy for him, so that could be one of the reasons why. Okay. Did I hear it correctly? He was going to put his glasses on after the fact? Yep. I'm going to go talk to him real quick and let him know that he probably should put those on now. Just my grandson recently bought it for me. He said my old truck was just too old. The nerve on that boy sometimes. Hey, sir. Hey there. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm officer. Uh... Yeah. Officer, yeah. <laughs> officer That's Frost. A great name, sir. I. Officer Frost, please obey oh, police Frost, department, okay? Oh, Frost, my bad. Alright. You just said, oh, you just said yes, yeah, so I assume that was your actual name. My brain was working a little slow for a minute, okay? Mine doesn't work at all at the time. Well, I can see that that moment, this moment. Alrighty, um, yeah, sir, so... Alright, so I'm here on a jurisdiction call, okay? It means I'm just gonna sit around and make sure everything's good. So I'm just introducing myself. Also, I overheard something about you, uh, your glasses being on your shirt. And that you were going to put it on later. Like after yeah. the stop. How about you put them on now? I'll have to get out and do that. Get them on the two why, do you, up in front. why do you have to? Because they're not physically on my face, if you understand. What's that? They're not physically on my shirt, if you understand. Okay, okay, yeah, I got you. Okay. Alrighty. So if you want me to put them on, can I step out then? Uh, just, just sit tight for a second, okay? Alright. I was just trying to go visit my grandson. Yeah. Alrighty, sit tight real quick, okay? I'll be right back with you. Alright. Alright, what's up? He has an expired deal. Yeah, he has, he has an expired driver's license, and it's been expired since 1996. Okay. He should not be driving. Nope. Uh, he he asked if if I wanted to step out anyway, so I'll just go with that. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Hey, sir. Can you do me a favor, real quick? So you can actually here here what here you can uh you can step out and get your glasses on, okay? Okay. Alright. So, there you go. Oh, my back. I see it was very comfortable. Oh, yeah. I get messed sometimes. Do you want to come over here and come to the front so we can see you out of these bushes? Oh, of course. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Now, no, I just have a, a question for you. Um, 
you put your glasses on. Yeah, I'm doing that. Give me a minute. <laughs> Go, I can see. All right, perfect. Oh, wow, you guys are. It's like I'm looking at 4K, is what my grandson calls it. Oh, I bet it is. Well, I don't even know what 4K is. <coughs> I bet you don't. Anyway, now I have one question for you. Do you remember the lot when your driver's license was supposed was supposed to expire? Wait, these expire? Yes, driver's licenses expire. You, your, your driver's license has been expired since 1996, and it's currently 2024. Oh. Well, I'm sorry about that. My wife usually does that. Your wife? Yeah, but she's Here, gone. Do you... Okay. So... Have you and ha, is the is this driver's license currently the one that you first got when you first got your license? No, no, no. I've we've uh, we've renewed it a couple of times unless I just slipped my mind. You know, I'm a very <coughs> busy man. Okay. Well, you're aware since obviously your driver's license has been expired for a very long time. You are aware that you, you shouldn't be driving, right? No, I didn't know that. I'm very sorry. Okay. Obviously, this is your vehicle. Um. Yeah, like I said, my grandson so, got it for me. Okay, perfect. I right, just go and uh, sit right here, and I'll be back with you. Okay. Look, I'm really sorry if I caused you all trouble. I wasn't trying to hurt anybody. You didn't hurt anyone that we know. Yeah, thankfully. Yeah. I'm just trying to go visit my grandson. My question is, your license been expired since 1999. Do you, is, do you, do you own this truck? Yeah, I do. How are you able to buy this truck without a valid license? I don't remember how. Well, I'm not the one who bought the truck, so okay. I don't. I don't remember my grandson telling me how. He just said, "Look, Grandpa, you got it. I got you a new truck." Okay. Isn't it registered under your name? Yeah. You have to have a valid driver's license to register a vehicle under your name. That. that oh. That's true too. Well, so maybe this... my grandson did it for me. I don't know. I don't know how that works. What's your grandson's name? What's his name? Yeah. Uh... What was his name again? Alright. Sir, do you have any medical diagnoses? Such as dementia, Alzheimer's, anything like that? Dementia? No, not, not even close. Alzheimer's. What's that? You forget things. You for, oh, I forget things. Or short-term oh. short memory loss. Not that I know of. Anything that may be restricting you from driving? Not that I heard of. I just don't know. I don't know. I haven't been to the hospital in probably 30 years. Okay. Hey, Deputy, did the play come back to his name? Yep. I'm so confused on how he was able to register this. This truck's definitely newer than 1999. And his oh, license yeah, expired in 1999. Because right, I haven't seen this thing before until the other day. But I'm telling you, I love this thing. Uh, oh, we can tell. Well, Mr. Simmons, I'm going to be cutting you a huge break, okay? Alright. It's only going to be a $240 fine for your driver's license, okay? Uh, Alright. You can keep your car and make sure you bring it back home, okay? 
I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll get it there. I'm just, I mean, I don't live around here, though. It's the only problem. Yes. I was going to say, you live, you're currently far from home right now. Yeah, because my grandson lives up here. I'm going to visit him. All right, perfect. But once again, I'm cutting you a huge break here. I could easily tow your vehicle, but if we do see it again, we are going to have to tow it, okay? All right, I mean, maybe you guys can help me find my grandson then? You're looking for him? I just, I know he lives around here on this street. I just can't remember which one. What's his name? Uh, uh, what's his name again? I already tried to get that album. He usually tells me his name because, uh, I don't know, he likes telling me his name, I guess. But it's been a while since I visited him. Okay. Now I need you to just think really hard for me so you can remember his name. Because I can, uh, I can try to help you. I think his name is Liam. Liam, okay. Give me one moment. Oh, and also real quick, did you want to go ahead and just quickly sign here? An admission of guilt, just saying yeah, that you'll yeah, either yeah. pay the final repair in court. Okay. There's a pen for you right there. <clears throat> there you go. So, is it, are you sure this is your signature? Yeah, I'm sure. Just looks like scribbles to me. Oh, I haven't had to sign anything in over 30 years. Okay, well, if you if you can't exactly remember your at least cursive signature, Wait. just try to write your first name as last. What? Wait. Okay. 30 years. I'm retired, yes. son. Your license expired in 1999. It renews every two years. So 1997 is where you would have had to sign for that. And that was not 30 years ago. You have to sign every time you have to renew your license. I do? Yeah, you have to sign every time you renew your license. You have to sign every time you go to the doctors. You have to sign all, all the time. He, d he did say he hasn't gone to the doctor since... Well, in 30, 30 years. Did I say 30 years? I think it was 40, actually. Okay. Well, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. It's been a while. You, you, you should probably go to the doctors in that yeah, case. Yeah, you probably should call them, because I think you got some other stuff going on. Okay. Maybe my grandson will help me with that, then. You might want to move to the area with your grandson. Sounds like he's pretty good at taking care of you. Where he got you a $100,000 truck. Oh, my son is very... Right? Yeah, my grandson is very successful. I don't know why I brought my son up into this. He's dead. Okay. What's up? I'm sorry. Back, back, back to me. Did you want to okay. go ahead and just try to at least write your first name and last? Instead of just throwing scribbles? Listen, I am not crazy. Sorry. Oh, I know you're not. Uh, uh, sorry, I wasn't talking to you. Uh, let me try again. There you go. I think I did it this time. There we go, perfect. That's good enough. Sorry for losing. Alright, well here's all your information back. Oh, and there's a copy. Thank you. <coughs> Man, I will be right back. You said his name was Liam Simmons, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back with you. Sir. Yeah? So that deputy is being pretty generous with you. So when you're going to go and bring, uh, go to wherever that, uh, wherever your 
grandson's uh, place is, you need to make sure now, especially when you got your glasses on, you need to drive on the right, okay? Oh, I will. I apologize. Okay. I, I really thought I was on the right side of the road. Now it happens. Go ahead. Show me clear from the traffic stop. And silence is killing me. Ten four got to clear What's at that, sir? Uh, twenty three fourteen. Okay, Mr. Simmons. Yes. Good news. His house is just right there. That's right, I forgot he said he got the front, the beachfront property, pretty much. Alright. I told you, my grandson's very successful. I can tell. Alright, perfect. Well, I don't have anything else to stop you for, but I do recommend that you get your license renewed and go see the doctors, please. Okay, yes, I get it, I'm sorry. I'll do it when I All get right. there. Alright, anyway. You have a good rest of your morning, Mr. Simmons. You too, Deputy. Alright, have a good one. We'll leave it for Go ahead. You can show me back to me. 10 4, got you back to me at 23.15. Get him 100. Go ahead. You can show me code for off that 10 PA. You can show me 10 6 momentarily for report. 10 for that you clear off the call and 10 6 for report at 23 16. 